The Iroquois Nationals have been a recent hot topic on ICTMN. After competing at the Federation of International Lacrosse 2012 World Championships in Finland and returning home to Aquasasne with a bronze medal, players Trey Adams and Kai Tarbell and player liaison Gabe Oaks took a moment to speak with ICTMN about highlights, playing the game, and being part of the first team in history to be Team USA. Finland, it was great. Um, it was my kind of country because I don't like the, the heat too much and it was very cool over there. It's pretty far for me. I ain't really, not really a big plane rider. Team Iroquois was Finland. On one street, you couldn't see somebody rocking a seven generation shirt from Finland. I mean, come on, we were talking to Tom. We, our games drew the most fans. Probably the biggest highlight was scored against Team USA and scoring like the first goal of the whole tournament. I think Kai's biggest play was uh, the hidden ball trick. Oh, oh yeah, yeah man. Ball trick. That's got a lot of hits. Hidden ball trick, the other team shot it, it went off the pipe and it went out of bounds. I pretend to pick up the ball and when I pretend to pick it up everybody looked at me, but I left the ball on the floor and the guy from my team ran behind me and picked it up. And when they blew the whistle and I just took off running to the midline like down the opposite side of the field and they all followed me and then the guy that had the ball just ran and scored open, or not open header, but it was a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. I mean, the cameraman was even fooled. I mean, the cameraman was following him. You were even fooled. I was fooled. <laughs> it was the play of the game that the FILA, the U19 website, had used that as their cover play. The old Indian hidden ball trick. Emotionally. It's like now. It was great. I mean, I've seen these kids since they were nine, ten years old, and we worked for that. I mean, we didn't get the gold, but we've made strides. They got bragging rights in Indian country. They can say they beat the U.S. No other team has done that. I mean, they'll be always part of the first team to beat Team USA. So, emotionally, I remember hugging the coaches and seeing the players, and there was tears in everybody's eyes. So, yeah, the moment. Felt great. Felt really good. Felt like accomplished. Yeah, it felt felt pretty good. Just knowing that no one else did it and we we're the first to do it. I think the whole world was surprised. <laughs> mm, it's a privilege. I have multiple uncles. My father played for a while. Um, my the biggest one that plays in my family is uh, my uncle, Dalen Adams, and he's been my inspiration. He's also goalie too, so box and field, which I play. So I just look up to him. My great grandfather, and uh, he's inducted into Hall of Fame, and all of his sons, my great uncles, are all inducted into Hall of Fame. It feels regular. It feels like life, pretty much. Just... Our pool consisted of our first trial. We had 72 players. It was an open trial. I mean, where you go to the U.S. trial, it's an invite only, where they can choose from a pool of 150,000. So overall, our pool might not be very big, but it's deep. A majority of the players, I would say, come from Akwazasne, Six Nations, and Onondaga, because our field lacrosse is big. Hey man, friends for life, band of warriors, band of brothers. It's close. We're close. We're knocking on the door and I think the whole world knows we're not special Canada in the U.S. In my mind, we were the best team there. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from Akwazasi. I'm saying that as a lacrosse fan. We were the best team there. And they played their hearts out. And I think, I think everybody on this team, Trey, Kai, Seth, they're role models. I think Canada and the U.S. better watch out. 2016 is our year.